Welcome back to the class on a HPTC class question system. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the analysis of 12 pulse converter in a HPTC system. Why should you go for the 12 pulse converter means to reduce the harmonics in a AC side as well as a DC side. Now, in the analysis of 12 pulse converter, first we are going to see how do you achieve the 12 pulse converter. Next, we are going to analyze the phase B current by means of Fourier analysis how many harmonics are presented and finally we are comparing the this harmonics with a 6 pulse converter this is a circuit diagram of the 12 pulse converter this is AC supply this is the DC side DC side we are representing with a constant current source this is converter 1 this is converter 2 the primary side of the converters we are connected in parallel and secondary side of the converters we are connected in a series the first converter will be getting a power from the star to star type transformers the second converter will be getting a power from the star to delta transform here we have given the some nomenclature the current which is passing through the primary winding of a star to star transformer that we represented with a i suffix capital a s secondary side we represented a small a s s stands for the star to star transformer here the primary winding of a star to delta transformer i a d d nothing but delta here small a capital d the trans ratio of a primary winding to the secondary winding of a star to star transformer is the 1 is to 1 whereas the star to delta transformer is the 1 is to root 3 to maintain the same voltage and the current previous in both primary as well as a second phase a current phase b current phase c current which are supplied by the supply suppose if we take the phase b current that is equal to sum of the phase b current in a star to star transformer and a star to delta transformer in the same manner here we have written the expression for the ia ib ic are the current supplied by the sources that is equal to IAS plus IAD IB equal to IBS plus IBD IC equal to ICS plus ICD here we have defined the EA, EB, EC EA equal to AES equal to root 2 by root 3 ELL sin omega t plus 150 degrees ELL is nothing but a line to line RMS voltage same manner we define the remaining phase B and phase C also. Here for the converter 1, we are applying the voltage of EBAS, nothing but a line to line voltage that is equal to root 2 ELL sin omega t. When you come to the converter 2, that is EAB that becomes a root 2 ELL sin omega t minus 30 degree. Nothing but a, whatever the voltage we applied to the converter 2 will be lagging the converter 1 voltage by 30 degrees. Based upon this, we are going to see how the device in converter 1 and converter 2 will be conducted. This is the first interval, this is the second interval, this is the third interval, this is the fourth interval, fifth and the sixth interval. This is the conduction of the device in a bridge 1. We are assuming that at omega t equal to alpha, 3 device is on. Nothing but here 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 1 and 1, 2. The delay angle between any two successive valves is the 60 degrees. Once the valve is on, it has to conduct a 120 degree. From the bridge 1, 2, 3 is conducting, the DC voltage becomes a E, B, C, S. E B A S E C A S E C V S E A V S and E A C S. Already we have seen this one. If we come to the converter 2, the voltage applied to the converter 2 will be lagged by converter 1 by 30 degrees. So at this instant, third device is on in a converter 1. When you come to the converter 2, the third device will be lagged by first converter by 30 degrees. So, S3 will be on at this point. 
so from this 2 3 3 4 4 5 5 6 6 a 1 2 1 2 the corresponding output voltages these are the corresponding output voltages now in this interval first segment the vd1 equal to ebcs and vd2 equal to eacs so the output voltage vd equal to vd1 plus vd2 already we know the expression for the ebcs eacd now substitute those values and here the common is the root 2 ell take the common outside apply the formula we are getting finally em sin omega t plus 75 degree where em is nothing but a maximum line voltage now we are going to find out the average output voltage given by the 12 pulse converter that is vdc equal to 6 by pi integral alpha to alpha plus 30 degrees em sin omega t plus 75 degrees d omega t how to integrate this one and substitute the limits finally you are getting the the average output voltage VDC equal to 2 VD0 cos alpha. Where VD0 equal to 3 by pi root 2 ELL. Where ELL is nothing but a RMS value of line voltage. Now we are going to see the IB current. Nothing but the current which is supplied by the phase B at the source. This is equal to the current passing through the, the current passing in phase B in star transformer. The current passing in a B phase in a delta transformer. In case of a star 2 delta transformer, the number of turns is 1 is 2, root 3. So, current passing in a primary winding of a delta transformer IBD equal to root 3 I2. But in secondary winding, star delta transformer I1, I2, I3 turns are passing. I1 plus I2 plus I3 equal to 0. So, from that one, you can find the value of IBD, nothing but the primary current which is passing in a primary winding of a delta star 2 delta transformer that is equal to 1 by root 3 IBD minus IC. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, our aim is to find the what is the waveform for the IB. Here we know the waveform for the IBS, but we can derive the IBD waveform from this relation. Here we have taken the Minus 180 degrees, minus 140 degrees, minus 60, 0, 60, 120, 180 degrees. On the x axis, we have taken the theta, where theta equal to omega t minus k minus 67 degrees. In case of a 6 pulse converter, once the device is on, it has to conduct a 128 degrees. This is the waveform for the IBS. See here, from this point to this point, 120 degrees, this is the 60 degrees. Again, here 60, here 60, negative current minus ID. Next, IBD, nothing but the current passing in the secondary winding of a star delta transformer will be lag secondary winding of a star delta transformer by 30 degrees. So, you take up the same waveform which is lagging the, this waveform by 30 degrees. This is the waveform. If you find the angle between the this instant and this instant means 30 degrees, this waveform will be lagging this waveform by 30 degrees. Next, we want the ICD. ICD lags IBD by 120 degrees. The same waveform, but that waveform should be lag this waveform by 120 degrees. This is the waveform what we got it from the ICD. Next, we know the IBD. Nothing but IBD is nothing but the current which is passing in a primary winding of a delta transformer, star 2 delta transformer. That is equal to IBD minus ICD by root 3. At every instant, from this waveform, this waveform you have to subtract, divide by root 3. We are getting the, this is the waveform for the IBD. Now, ultimately we want the IB. So, IB equal to sum of this waveform and this waveform that gives the IB at every instant when you add these two waveforms we are getting the IB waveform. If you observe this IB waveform both steps are there almost all sine wave near to the sine wave. If you apply the Fourier analysis for this one the harmonics in this phase B current will be less than the harmonics in a 
phase B current with a six pulse converter. Now for this waveform, if you find the fundamental current means I1 equal to 2 into root 6 by pi into ID. The harmonic current equal to IH equal to I1 by H, where H is nothing but a order of the harmonics. Where H equal to 12n plus or minus 1, where n is nothing but integer, you can also write the H equal to 6m plus or minus 1, where m is nothing but a even integer. Here n is the integer, nothing but you can take the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Here m is nothing but even integer, 2, 4, 6, 8, like that. Both are same value. But from this expression, if you observe means, if you take the n equal to 1 here, the harmonic order becomes a 11 and 30. In the 6 pulse converter, the minimum harmonic order is the 5 and 6, but here 11 and 30. And 5 and 6 harmonics will be circulating in a transformer, both gets cancelled. Like that, where m equal to odd integer means those harmonics will be circulated in a star to star transformer and star to delta transformer and gets cancelled. And finally, the 12 pulse converter has a harmonic order of order from the 11 13 for n equal to 1. Suppose if we take the n equal to 2, then 23 25. Like that, the harmonics will be presented in a 12 pulse converter in a ACC. Now, if we compare the 6 pulse converter and 12 pulse converter, the number of harmonics will be lesser in a supply current as well as a DC also. This is the reason that we are using a 12 pulse converter in HVDC system when compared to the 6 pulse converter so that we can reduce the harmonics in a AC side as well as a DC side. So thank you very much for watching this.